Okay. This is well, Zappa TV thing again. Yeah. We've got an Ash Greninja GX, which is this brand is new. One. No, the brand new Ash Greninja. So let's yeah. let's find the old Ash Greninja GX. So the old Ash Greninja is um that one. Yeah. Um. As you can see, it's a GX attack with Typhoon. Um, Devastating Chicken. Yeah, Ash that's the new there. version. Um, okay, let's go. Let's check out his other cards. Iron yeah. Scissor. I'm I'm buying this one actually. Yeah. Um. He's buying it. Um. Yeah. Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock, and Reggie Steel. No, um, Reggie Gigas. Yeah, Reggie Gigas can't be in there. Sadly. Um, uh, um, let's search this up. I search, um. Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Um. Iron Sack. Iron Sack. Um. These are just all poster sets. Let's yeah. go to the single cards. A uh, single cards? Uh, yeah. Captain Gardel. It's Captain Marvel Gardevoir. Nice. Captain Gardel. Okay, next one. Fortune. Fortune, we saw you showcase that? Yeah. Um what else? Iron set. Iron set. Um Captain Water also got me. Yeah, him. Well, I'm on this channel. Uh, right now, I'm Hulk. Yeah, right now, I'm going to have my, my Hulk. Nice, my Hulk. My Hulk. Hulk. Captain Bravery. Captain Bravery. I don't, I don't like Captain Bravery. Yeah, Iron Man uh, and Scissor. Scissor. That's kind of cool. Um, Black, Black Panther and, and Umbreon. Um, I, I, I can't say Umbreon for some reason. Doctor, Doctor Strange and... Uh, um, Alakazam. Yeah. Spider Man. Ari 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 Ariados. Ari Why are these names so hard to say? Oh, Peter Tingle. Had Peter Tingle. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Got it. We got Captain, Captain America and Bravery. We got Thanos. Snap. Uh, I can't actually click. Mewtwo. I can't actually click. I can't click. Okay. Let's, uh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Uh, should we let's do, do tag teams. Yeah, tag team. Okay. Okay, um. um we got some cool cards here. We got cool, cool kids. We got Mutant Mew. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Water fire and Fire Guard Chomp GX. Mm, That's a cool card. Spicy. Spicy. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, I, I don't really care if I eat. Yeet. Okay. That's enough. I guess that's okay, enough. Okay. okay. Pikachu and Zeraora. That's a... Um, Zeraora. Zeraora. Tag team Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. Who is it? It's Pikachu and Zeraora and uh, Tracer. Tag team. Custom Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, Golem, Golem and Dedenne. I don't think Dedenne is a fighting type. No. Yeah, I don't think she is. Okay. Um. What if? What is the? Um, uh, no, yeah, that one, that one. Yeah, we saw about. Yeah. Yeah, Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble. GX Tech Team. Nice, nice. Uh, we got Charmander, Bulbasaur, and um, this other guy. Um, Chikorita, uh, Cyndaquil, and Torchodile. We got Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico. That's a good Trico. Is it dancing? Flip oh, teams. Flip, flip teams. Fable and Gengar. Yeah, flip. Fairies are Cafebo and Gengar connected. Yeah, flip teams. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Mm -hmm, that's it. No, no, no. Yeah, that's it, really. Uh, These are just like the Marvel ones. Right? No, but I think we're... I. Yeah, no. Like, there's... there's there's some, okay, yeah, there's some, they're, they're just all the marble ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah. Uh, what else is there? 
Actually, paid five out of five, so um, yeah. Actually, no. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's watch Zaba now. Let's watch Zaba. So Zaba's gonna do all the talking now, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna yep. sit and watch Zaba's video. Yeah, yeah, just watch Zaba's video and through our video. Okay. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Trisket, go topping list. Hmm. Paul, what are you? What's up, everybody? Zappa TV coming to you from the floor of my office. <laughs> Not too long ago, I made a custom Pokemon card, and I've shown it to many of you in person. We made real card versions of this card. Many of you have won, many more have bought them, and I just wanted to show you once and for all how to. Alright, so first things first, you are going to need some supplies. You're going to need 100% acetone, nail polish remover, gloves, cotton swab squares, spray adhesive, preferably some drop cloths, and some scissors. Oh yeah, and did I mention, you need a reverse foil Pokemon card, or really any foil, they all work. But once you've got that out, take your bottle of acetone and your cotton swab. Fold your cotton swab in half, unscrew the top of your acetone, put it on top of that bottle, Tilt it, get it just wet enough to be damp, and then put it back down, screw your top back on, you're ready to shave this card down. Put the card face up with the holographic on top, take the cotton swab, and begin to rub up and down on the card until the paint starts to come off. I've noticed that colorless cards and steel tend to be the easiest to get off, but some of them like dark are just baked on there and it's really hard to get on. So keep going back and forth, um, if you have to switch to another card, Pokemon card to a foil card stock. Alright, next up you're going to need a transparent Pokemon card. The actual size of a Pokemon card is 6.3 centimeters wide by 8.8 .8 centimeters tall. So you really want to design something in Photoshop that will match those dimensions and then get it printed out on a transparency paper at your local print shop. But once you have that file ready, you can fit 9 of them on an 8.5 by 11 transparency paper. You have to cut them to shape. So that is why I have this paper cutter right here. I've been using this for my transparencies and it's been amazing. Once you actually cut them out of the framework, you'll have to use a scissor to do the tidying. And once you have that all done, you have your official Pokemon card shape. Now we're ready for the spray adhesive. All right, at this point I'd like to tell you, get a lot of skits gummed up in front. This being indoors still, but you spray this on the card pretty evenly. Then you take your cutout version of this, which by the way, that's what it looks like as nine. Very cool. And you use gloves to position the card underneath the actual card. So assuming that this would be cut out, you would line it up just like that. Give it a nice like one over seal with your finger. You're in good shape. All right, next part. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Time to finish him. So really, no matter what you did with putting the transparency on top of the cardstock, you're always going to have some left over. But that's okay, because we can fix that. Take the same scissors you used to cut the transparency out and cut around the now glued together cards just ever so slightly. You know what makes a Pokemon card look good. You've seen the miscut ones, you can tell. But if you're going to cut something on the right, cut it equally on the left so that the back of it still looks legit. Um, curve your edges with that scissor again, you're going to be slightly, ever so slightly smaller than a normal sized Pokemon card. But to everybody, they won't notice. Plus you got that in the case, you're in good shape. So just cut along that, put it in a sleeve at the end, put it in another sleeve if you're being really protective, and you got it. You have just made a custom Ash Greninja Pokemon card. Or really, whatever you made. And for me, that's the best part. You can make literally any Pokemon card in the world. I chose to make an Ash Green Ninja, and it launched my channel into 10,000s. You could make anything. Subscribe to Zappa's channel and bye. Yeah.